Oh no, 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 no! Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Funcraft. I'm trying out a new look today. Yeah, I'm really feeling myself today. Look how cool these wings are! Okay, it's less cool when I fly into the wall. But they look so cool! <gasps> What's this? I present to you a one-of-a-kind LD Shadow Lady broomstick as a thank you for finding my broom from CPK. Oh, how adorable! This is so cute! How do I get it? Oh my gosh, no! I'm sat on it! It's still on the display stand, but I'm just sat on it. Oh wait, no it's not! I'm flying! How do I control the height? Oh no! No! Oh my gosh, it set fire to my dog?! What is this broom that CPK has gifted to me? Some kind of fire broom? Wait, it has flame enchanted on it? <gasps> oh my gosh, we have to be careful with this thing. We could start a forest fire. Kill innocent creatures to steal their blood to power the broom. Hmm, great, a blood extractor. That's not grotesque at all. So right now it's low on blood, so maybe we should just try and top it up. So let's harvest some blood. What did it say? Innocent creatures. Do I have any innocent creatures? Hmm, we have a couple of chickens, we could try that. How does it work? Hold in inventory when slaying mobs. Oh, we're supposed to kill them. Like this? I'm sorry. Okay, so we got all the blood. Now what do I do with a syringe filled with blood? Oh, oh no, 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 what the heck? What the heck? I'm surrounded by idiots. Ew, I flooded my house with blood. Dog! Oh, he's fine. This is disgusting! Can I suck it back up? That was gross. Ugh. Okay, let's be careful from now on. Oh, it worked. I just had to mount the broom. Well, now we know how to take care of my broom, but I'm a little bit scared of it because it seems to set fire to creatures every now and then. Can I get out the door? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's see if we can set fire to these things by flying over them with my broom. <gasps> Whoa, it actually did. <gasps> I can set fire to things just by flying over them. Wait, will it set fire to this polar wolf? Hello there, don't mind me. Oh gosh, no, it's mad at me. So I guess we'd better be extra careful when flying past innocent creatures. Now let's put this broom safely away. It would look so cool on here. How adorable, my heart. My soul, it's a tiny little baby broom. Oh, I love it. And I'm just gonna hide the blood extractor away because let's face it, carrying this around is very creepy. So let's use one of these mini chests. I'm gonna hide the blood extractor in this chest and hopefully nobody looks in there. Now, next up, I have something really cute to show you. Last episode, I noticed that Joel has a really cute house. He has so many cute buildings. So I asked him if he would build something for me and he did. And here it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pink. I love it. But before we go inside, I want to have a little fly around. These are some cute hot air balloons. And then there's a little hut down here. Let's take a look inside. Oh my gosh, it's so pink. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, this is so cute. So I asked him to build me an enchanting area and a potions area. So in one of the balloons is a brewing stand and in the other one is an enchantment table. And this is a really cute way of displaying that. So this must be the potions area. Oh, there's so much room for potions in here. I can become the potion master. And the other room must be my enchanting area. Oh my gosh, why is it so spooky? That is adorable. I'm feeling so lucky today to have such nice friends that give me nice things. And honestly, I feel kind of bad for what I'm about to do next. <laughs> but it's not my fault, you guys voted for this. You guys all voted to prank them. So that is what we're going to do. So my first idea for a prank involves a very simple item and I have eight of them right here. I know what you're thinking, Lizzie. That is a door. How could this possibly be a prank? Unless I covered their house in doors, which would be super annoying. Oh no, this door is special. You see, when you open the door, something quite horrific happens. <gasps> so as you can imagine, that is quite shocking if you aren't ready for it. So in order for this prank to work, we're gonna have to find somebody who has a door, which they use. Ooh, it looks like Joel uses a birch door, but he probably wouldn't notice if we switched out for an oak door. Let's see if it does the noise when you close it. Yes. 
Oh no, that sounds terrible. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I already feel bad. So that may or may not catch him off guard, but just to ensure success, we should probably try and prank a few more people. Ugh, it looks like Callum doesn't even use doors. There's not a single door in his entire house. What the heck? Let's check out if Yami uses a door. Oh, <gasps> she has a double door. Oh my gosh, I wonder what will happen. Oh my gosh! It's extra loud. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, look how cute Lauren's house is. She has this adorable stitch thing. What's inside? Oh, it's a bunch of Disney stuff. This is freaking adorable. This is too cute. I know just what we have to do to this place. Replace the door. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's what you get for trying to be cute, Lauren. So that was all the people that I could find that use doors on their house. But we're gonna have to be a little creative with how we get CPK to walk through a door. But he is curious by nature. So I think all we have to do is set up a little challenge for him and he won't be able to resist. So I built a mysterious looking tunnel over here. And at the very end, I'm just gonna place my troll door. So he will have to open it. Oh gosh, oh no, oh my, oh gosh. Get out of here. At the front, I'm just gonna put a normal door and a sign. It says, enter if you dare. And to make this place even more mysterious, I'm gonna surround it with cactus. That way, hopefully he will notice this and venture inside. And curiosity will kill his eardrums. Okay, mission accomplished. Oh dear, oh. My prank is killing the local wildlife. Get out of here. Now we still have two doors left which is actually kind of perfect because we are welcoming two new players to the server, Brit and Marielle, but they haven't logged in yet. So what better way to welcome them to Funcraft when they first log in than a prank? Let's build a little structure. Basically, I wanna make it look like they're walking through a heart, but in the middle of the heart, there's gonna be a couple of troll doors. Oh my gosh, that's actually super cute. And now we'll just put a random door in the middle of it. And now anyone that comes to respawn will probably be pranked by that door. So now, even though Brit and Marielle don't even have houses for me to prank them with, now let's just test this works. Yes. Now, while we're here, I thought it would also be a nice idea to leave them both a shulker box full of supplies. I've put two identical shulker boxes here so they can choose one. It just has a sword, a pick, some food, a home pet so they can get back home in emergencies, some golden apples, a bed, a Disney wish block, and a full set of iron armor. So hopefully that is enough to help them survive and get started in the Funcraft world. I also spotted this chest here, which is full of Disney hats. I think that these are spare hats that people got from the wish blocks that they didn't want. And there are actually a couple of hats in here that we haven't collected yet. So maybe we should just take the Pluto hat and the Goofy hat and we can add them to our collection. But first, I gotta try them on. Oh my gosh, this hat is huge. Oh my gosh, it looks like I have a giant spider on my head from the back. I don't like it. Let's see what the Pluto hat looks like. Oh, I love it. What happened? How did that happen? Oh no. Let's go home and add these to our collection. And now for my final prank, I'm going to try and pull a prank on one of the most elusive players on the server. He's basically never online. It's Ollie, and because he's never online, he's a bit of a noob. So he doesn't know about some of the items on this server, especially the troll items. So we have this diamond sword here, which does 54 damage, which is insane. And it's crafted with these troll diamonds. However, if you were to craft this and use it, you would find that it breaks after one use. So pretty much useless. There's also this troll pickaxe, which again is crafted with troll diamonds. But if you try to use that, it explodes in your face. So I thought that we could play a prank on him with that. So in here is where I keep all of my troll items to keep them separate from my real ones. These are the troll diamonds. However, holding them will give me nausea, which is really annoying. So we have to do this really quickly. I need some wood. Oh, this is bad. I need some sticks to make this freaking pickaxe. Okay, there we go. We have the diamond pickaxe. Oh, it's enchanted with fortune five. Maybe we should do a test first in case it doesn't work. Wait, what if the explosion's really big? I'm gonna go over here. Oh my gosh, why is that creeper so fast? <gasps> Excuse me. Let's try over here. This is probably gonna kill me. Uh, 
There was definitely an explosion and the pickaxe didn't even break. I would call this a success. This is gonna be perfect for my prank. So in this chest here, I'm gonna leave him some wish blocks, the pickaxe and a sword so he doesn't get so suspicious. Ollie, welcome back from Lizzie. What a nice little surprise and definitely not a trick at all. So that's where I'm gonna leave it for this episode of Funcraft. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video and I will see you next time.